Hello YouTube, welcome to Form Validation PHP. I'm Jeff, and in this video we're going to review a simple construct that's necessary when validating a form in PHP. So basically, uh, when you validate a, a form, you're checking to make sure that the information inside the form is accurate. So I have an example that I can launch. For this video series, we'll be expanding on the email application that we built in the previous video series. And we will validate the forms in this application. So here's my sign up form. Now, if I enter my name, and an email address and press submit. I have successfully uh, been added to the mailing list. However, if I add nothing, press submit, I've still su been successfully added to the mailing list. So this project does not have any validation. It does not check to make sure that there is information uh, it does not check to make sure that the information has been entered into the forms, nor does it check to um, make sure that the information is accurate or uh, not duplicate. So the first step is to review something called an, an if-else statement. So essentially, um, what we want to do is we want to evaluate the the contents of those form fields before we execute any any commands including the SQL queries so what I've done in this little example here is I've set up uh, some tests so first of all an if statement starts with if and then there's a condition and if that condition is true it will do something. And then we have an else statement, so if the condition is not true, this will do something else. Okay, so that's pretty basic, but there's a function in PHP that allows validation to work pretty smoothly. It's called isSet. Uh, isSet allows us to just check and make sure that a variable has been set or has been initialized properly. So we have foo, which we've declared, but we have not set its initial value. And we have bar. Bar we've actually set equal to, uh, or we've set its value to nothing, but we have set it. This is a an empty string. So in the first part of this example, we're checking to see if foo has been set and if it has, it will print out foo is set. If it has not been set, it will echo foo isn't set. It's pretty simple. The second part, it evaluates bar. So if bar is set, then it will tell us bar is set. Or if it is not set, it will tell us that it is not set. So let's do a little prediction here. Foo has been declared, but it has not been a value has not been set for it. So this should be false. So we should see foo isn't set. Now bar has been declared and it has been set. Its value has been set. Even though it's an empty string, there's still technically something set for bar. So when it evaluates bar it should be true. It should say bar is set. Let's preview this. Here we go. Foo isn't set, and bar is set, just like we predicted. If I go ahead and put some information in these, oops, string, and run this again, now foo is set, as well as bar. 
Now this is helpful in making in ensuring that a variable has been declared and initialized properly, but it doesn't help us detect an empty string. So there's another function that is very helpful in PHP called empty. What empty does is it checks, it, it evaluates a variable to see if there is um, an empty string there. Oops. Okay. So now foo has been set to hello and bar has been set to the empty string. So a little prediction again. In this situation, uh, foo should evaluate to uh, false. It is not empty. So foo isn't empty. And bar has an empty string. So bar is empty. Let's try it. Here we go. Foo is not empty because we set it to hello. And bar is empty. Okay, so those are two pieces of the, of the puzzle here whatever we want to validate a form field. The first step is to create uh, some conditions. I'm going to echo this out and we'll look at a compound uh, version of the same thing. Okay. So in this next example I have just foo. So I want to check whether or not foo is set and whether or not it is empty. Now basically, if this is a form field, I would want it to be set and I would want it to have information in it. So in my conditional statement here, I have if is set foo, so I want this to be true, I want it to be set, and foo is not empty. So the exclamation point in front of it means not. So I want this to be uh, true as well. So if these two conditions are met, it will echo foo is set and not empty. And if, these condi if either of these conditions evaluates false, then it will echo foo is either not set or is empty. Let's try it. Now foo is not set, so we should see the second response. Foo is either not set or is empty. There we go. Now if we set it equal to an empty string, we still get that foo is either not set or is empty. Now if we set it to hello, we should finally see this initial result here, which is foo is set and is not empty. There we go. Okay, so now that we've written some if statements, we are ready to begin validating our forms in our email program. So join us in the next video where we set up our first validation. Thanks for watching.